Welcome class. In this video, I will talk about the seafloor spreading hypothesis. Sinabi natin sa nakaraang video lesson na maraming pananiwalaan ang tao kung paano nabuo ang continents natin. They believe na ito ay nabuo dahil sa great flood katulad na nakasulat sa Biblia. Others believe in the expanding earth or the contracting earth theory. However, nung dumating ang 1912 sa pagdating ni Alfred Wegener, he proclaimed the continental drift theory, stating that our continents were once a supercontinent but drifted away from each other. Pero tulad ng sinabi natin sa nakaraang video lesson, hindi natanggap ang proposal ni Wegener. His theory was widely rejected and treated as a pseudoscience. Pero in 1962, Harry Hammond has proposed the seafloor spreading hypothesis. This theory supported the claims and evidences collected by Wegener and at the same time, nagpropose ito ng reason kung bakit nagkaroon ng movement ang continents natin. At ito ay dahil sa sea floor spreading. Nagsimula ang sea floor spreading hypothesis noong 1945 when Harry has measured the depth of the sea floor using a sounding equipment. He discovered na para palang may mountain ranges sa ilalim ng dagat. Before that kasi naniniwala ang tao na flat lang ang pinakailalim ng dagat. Pero na-discover niya nga na makakaiba ang lalim ng seafloor, merong mas mababaw, merong mas malalim. Meron din presence ng isang landform that looks like a mountain but, flat, but with flat tops which we refer to as geo. After 1945, Hess's discovery didn't immediately lead to the proposal of the seafloor spreading hypothesis. In 1953 pa, may dalawang scientists na nagdaka-discover ng lift sa ilalim ng oceans natin. And they referred to this as the Great Global Rift. They stated that breaks in the Earth's crust are present. However, although may breaks, meron perfect fit ito sa isa't isa. Hinalintulad nila ito sa dalawang kahoy na pinagdutong ng isang karpentero. May visible break, pero they are perfectly fitted with each other. This discovery prompted Hess to re-examine his 1945 findings. And in 1962, he proposed the seafloor spreading hypothesis and published it in his book named the history of ocean basins. The following are the main points of the sea floor spreading hypothesis. Sinabi ni Hess na may movement sa sea floor natin and this is caused by the rising magma. This rise will then push the plates away from each other. This explains kung bakit may movement ang continents natin. Sinabi niya sa paggalaw ng sea floor as it spread it pushes the continents away from it, forming new seafloor. He also suggested that when the seafloor converges with the continents, it tends to subduct. Lumulubog ito going back to the mantle and will then be recycled to form magma. The seafloor spreading hypothesis also stated that new seafloor is created in the reefs of our planet. This supported the evidence that younger seafloor are present near the oceanic ridge o yung reefs na sinasabi natin. Like what is shown here in this picture, as you progress away from it, from the ridges, you will have older seafloor. My onting erratics kung saan you'll have all seafloors older than 280 years old. Pero, Majority of it, majority of the seafloor will not be older than 200 million years old. Kasi, continuous na nagkakaroon ng recycling ng seafloor natin as it converges with the continental plates of our planet. Take note, our planet is 4 billion years old, pero there is no seafloor older than 280 years old. Another observation that supports the seafloor spreading hypothesis is its 
topography or the presence of different landforms under the ocean. For example, sinabi nila ang seamount ay nag-originate bilang volcano malapit sa ocean ridge. In here, as seafloor spreading happens, it will have less supply of lava, making it dormant, and then after some time, seamount will form. Seamount's erosion will then form geo. So, if na-erode na yung flat, uh, yung surface niya, it will turn into a flat-like mountain, which we refer to as geo. Next, yung volcanic island naman ay nagpo-form dahil sa subduction. So, this is also the same mechanism causing the formation of trenches. And, of course, there are other landforms in our ocean such as the abyssal plain. Yung abyssal plain naman, sinasabi this is a vast flat surface in our uh, ocean floor. Last evidence that supports the sea floor spreading hypothesis is the magnetic striping of the sea floor. Nalaman kasi ng mga scientists na ang poles ng Earth ay nagpapalit ng position every 1 to 2 million years. This is referred to as polar reversal. This caused the magnetic striping. Mapapansin natin na yung basalt or yung rocks that form from lava oozing from the ridges are pointing to the direction of the poles. Pero alternate ang kanilang direction. Yung isang part pointing north and yung isa pointing south. As I said, this is happening alternately. And aside from that, kung ano yung position ng nasa left side, ganun din yung position ng nasa right side. So kung ito ay nagpo-point sa south, yung nasa right side will also be pointing to the south. Suggesting that they have formed at the same time and then Aside from that, they have expreded from the sea floor away from the ridge at the same rate. Now, another idea connected with sea floor spreading is the ocean basins. So, ano ba yung ocean basins? Ocean basins are just any of several vast submarine regions that collectively cover nearly three quarters of our planet. This contains almost all of the water in our planet. So we have five ocean basins. We have the Pacific, the Atlantic, Arctic, Indian, and the Southern basins or ocean basins. And ang idea lang ng ocean basin ay para itong isang malaking planggana with different landforms that contains the water in our planet. The evolution of ocean basins involve five stages. The first stage is the embryonic stage. Sa embryonic stage, meron kang isang continent that will break apart because of an uplift. This uplift is caused by rising magma. This uh, motion or this stage will also lead to the formation of a rift valley, just like what is happening in the Eastern African Rift Valley. The idea is that you will have a valley caused by the divergence of a continental plate, which will lead to the formation of an ocean basin. Next stage after the embryonic stage is the juvenile stage. In here, the reef valleys gradually widen and eventually connect to the ocean. So, makita natin dito na unti-unti magda-diverge pa yung continental plate na dating magkasama or connected. And eventually, this will form an oceanic ridge. And the landform will then connect to the ocean. Just as just like what is happening with the Red Sea. That is how itong landforms na to ay connected to each other. Pero nagpo-form nga ang ocean basin dito sa Red Sea natin. And eventually, um, 
nag-connect yung Red Sea to the ocean, forming a water or a body of water in here. Next stage after juvenile stage is the mature stage. In here, lateral spreading will continue. Then, the divergence of the plate boundary will widen and add new oceanic crust. The idea is that katulad na nangyari sa Atlantic Ocean Basin natin, nagmula yung divergence sa oceanic ridge, forming new oceanic crust as it diverges. So, we can say the Atlantic Ocean is under the mature stage of the ocean basin evolution. Next stage is the declining stage. In here, subduction becomes more widespread around the border of the ocean basin. So kung kanina, more on divergence of plates tayo this time, we can say na merong convergence of plates na nanayayari. Unti-unti, yung nagiwalay na plate boundary kanina, this case, Unti-unti naman silang maglalapit. This is now what is observed in the Pacific Ocean Basin. Yung Pacific Ocean Basin natin nag-evolve into this way after diverging. Um, presently, nagko-converge na siya papunta dito sa surface na to or sa plate boundary na ito. And this is what we call as the declining stage of ocean basin evolution. Fifth stage is the terminal stage. In here, the ocean basis, basin closes through subduction as continents from opposite sides of the ocean basin bear down on one another and eventually collide. So, unti-unti, numinipis yung ocean basin to the point na magnet ito because of the convergence of two plate boundaries. This is what is happening now in the Eurasian plate and the African plate. So as you can see here, there's a little gap in here. We can say this is the Mediterranean Sea and this used to be an ocean basin. However, nagko-converge kasi unti-unti yung Eurasian and African plate because it is now under the terminal stage of ocean basin evolution. The last stage of the evolution of ocean basins is the suturing stage. Sa stage na to, the collision of the continents is complete and the intervening sea is gone, just like what is shown here in this diagram. And one example of this stage is the formation of the Himalaya Mountains in here. So the idea is that yung Indian at Eurasian plate converged with each other, um, completely removing the ocean basin around it, which later formed the Himalayan mountains. And that is the end of this lesson. Thank you.